you out here today? Oh, because I'm angry and I'm ready to, to do something about it. And the middle class and those who've been screwed by Wall Street. Yeah. And Wall Street is almost like a, like a synonym for me for our foreign policy. So uh, I'm mad. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Uh, so uh, what brings you out here today? Well, you know, if you step on enough people, pretty soon everyone has a reason to be out here. <laughs> well, yeah, to, to me the number one problem is climate change. And the number one reason we've got a problem with climate change is because the U.S. government isn't doing anything about it. So we need democracy in this country. I'm here supporting democracy. What brings you out here today? Uh, well, I've heard about the Occupy movement. I was out of town the last couple of weeks, out of the country actually, and all this thing started blowing up, growing, and I just wanted to be out here. I was about to go down to San Jose and check that one out, and I heard about this one. I said, it's close to home. I live in San Mateo. What brings you out here today? Oh, come on. We're all here for the same reason. We're the 99%. Even we in Palo Alto are the 99%. And what? And anybody that doesn't realize it ought to take a look at the income inequality and the distribution in this country. It's really big, and it's way beyond what most people think. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I work full time. Um, I can barely make my rent. I live here in Palo Alto, and it feels like a lot of people think that people in Palo Alto are really rich, but some of us just live here because we can't afford the gas to get to work. So we take out crappy little sublet apartments. Um, you know, I can barely afford food right now. Uh, my husband has been out of work for four years, and I'm really sick and tired of being sick and tired. Invest in America. Let people work. Pay them decent wages. That's all we need. And America will be back to prosperity again. At the top of my agenda is a lot more aid for veterans, particularly those that end up homeless, having been a veteran myself. Secondly, the school loans is near the top of my agenda. What brings you out here today? Well, I want to restore democracy in America, or in the United States of America, that is. It means that people are finally taking steps to push the Democrats and everybody else who will listen back in the direction that they should be, which is defending the people instead of the corporations in this country. I came out because I think it's important, and the movement right now is not very focused. It's just an uh, initial, we don't like what's going on. Uh, Obama hasn't uh, reined in the corporate greed as we think he should, and this is, says it right here. We want glass eagle reinstated. Complete disgust and frustration with our system that puts profit over its own citizens. I'm tired of the manipulation of banks and Wall Street and large companies, their control over our government, their watching our voices and just being completely ignored for year after year after year. Right on. The media is part of the problem. I believe that we need to completely dismantle and restructure the Fed. I believe that we need to completely rethink and reorganize a number of the agencies like uh, the Education Department, uh, the uh, FDA. Uh, I work for a nonprofit. I work for the National Peace Academy. Uh, and it's getting harder and harder for us to do fundraising because the people just are really uh, scared. And so, like all nonprofits, we're having a more difficult time. But we're, we're working on it. We're, we're slowing our growth rather than stopping it. I think people want everything to change. We have a very cruel, cruel economy, cruel country. And we want more equality, more kindness, more caring. And you can see by the people who are here today that that's the kind of people who are here. So I think that kind of sums it up for me.
nursing my kids have known for years, and I have learned more in the past two weeks between that and books I've read since the crisis. I know too much, and my ignorance is gone, and I miss it. But boy, it's um, I, I'm convinced if everyone really understood what's gone on and what continues to go on, they'd be out here. No question. What does the Occupy Wall Street movement mean to you? It means people finally getting interested enough to stand up and do something. Beautiful. What brings you out here today? Well, my mom actually suggested it today. You we were talking about it earlier. And she mentioned it, so I wanted to come as well. Excellent. And what does the Wall Street movement mean to you? I don't know. I mean... Show your son. Uh, well, I was today, but... God, it's such a big problem, so... I don't know really what I... I have to say about it. And to me it means it's, it's hopefully a beginning of something. It's, it's Americans saying um, uh, we have a voice and we want to be heard. We're not just going to sit back and let 1% of people in New York and Washington make all the decisions for us. I'm just tired of corporations being able to do whatever they want with government and like basically taking over government by being able to give as much money as they want to get uh, to put whatever they want. So, And I think the student voice is going to be really important in this fight because we just have the numbers and uh, the energy basically to, to put up a fight. So that's why I'm out here. Uh, a struggle against the injustices that we have all been experiencing, whether it's the loss of our 401k investments, uh, the fact that no one from Wall Street really seems to have had any accountability for what's gone down, for the, the scams that they've been pulling, for the endless wars, for the complete and total buyout of our political system by uh, the large money interests. It's about time. Uh, it's, it's, too, it's too long being armchair uh, revolution. It's our time to get out there and do something about it. Um, we'll defy whatever laws we have to defy and make, try to make a difference. Get them to listen. That this is the 99 person. Maybe there is some hope and that it's giving voice to to um, issues and problems that have been ignored for going on decades now. We have put so much emphasis on profit and stock prices. We've completely flown in the case of, of antitrust laws. And I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. We're all very frustrated and it's it seems to be happening across the nation in a lot of major cities. Uh, and it means that at last there's a movement that we have to all support. It means possibly the beginning of a new a new movement, a progressive movement that will have some momentum and that will have some impact on the administration and, and the way people start thinking. We're, we're in time for a real change in our whole uh, social structure in this country. And it's happening. It's not like I'm, I want to tear that down, but I want it through the help build up what's going to replace it, but it's falling apart. And never has there been a time so compelling to make a unified voice that somebody will, dear God, listen to. We've got to get this right now because I don't think we have too many other options or choice. If not now, when? People are tired of what's going on in, uh, in the capital, so we stand up. Well, I think we're picking it up from uh, around the world. This is happening around the world. Every place is occupying, and you know, you come, your presence. You know, you can send all the emails we want, but being here makes a difference. What brings you? <laughs> what brings me here? What brings you here today? Why, all this noise and excitement. <laughs> Uh, it's about time we all got together at the same day, at the same place, don't you think? After 30 years of diverting money to the wealthiest people and letting our country go rotten. It means, you know, something similar to what happened in Colombia when Bechtel went down and tried to privatize the water. Everybody just came out into the street and stood there for weeks until they went away. Maybe we should do that. Can we do that? What brings you out here tonight? Oh! 
uh, and supporting uh, Peninsula Peace and Justice and everything that it stands for, Excellent. and everything that we stand for in in, in agreement with that. Excellent. And uh, what does the Occupy Wall Street movement mean to you? It means that it's the first step in energizing people to be participating citizens and to reclaim this country from its one-sided, money-centered uh, preoccupation.